Hello in the news today. Political pressure is mounting for New Zealand to call it quits in Afghanistan. This follows confirmation that another SAS soldier has been killed in the line of duty in Kabul earlier today. The unnamed soldier was shot in the head shortly after 9 o'clock this morning. Fifteen SAS members were involved in an attack on a group preparing a raid on an area near the capital. Defence Minister Wayne Mapp says there's been increased activity around Kabul in recent months and every time our forces are deployed there is a risk of casualties. Now the Māori Party wants the government to reassess our military deployments. Māori Party co-leader Tariana Turia says it's her view that our SAS troops should be withdrawn from Afghanistan. It's not only the toll. I think that we need to be thinking really carefully about the wars that we are involving ourselves in because I don't think we truly understand. But Mr Key doesn't resile from his decision to recommit the SAS to the war-torn country. I think it's been the toughest decision I've made, but I continue to believe it was the right decision. Because I think it's critically important that New Zealand plays its part. New Zealanders are prolific travellers. I mean, we're around the world, we're not immune from the threat of global terrorism. We've lost people as a result of that. Last month, SAS soldier Doug Grant was killed during a Taliban attack on the British Council diplomatic offices. In other news... Requests for voluntary student membership to be delayed by a year have been rejected by the government. Act MP Heather Roy's bill is set to pass tonight after months of prolonged debate and protests. About 150 students supported by opposition parties protested outside Parliament today. An Auckland St John's ambulance worker has been diagnosed with measles. It's unknown how the staff member was infected, but the number of confirmed cases of measles in Auckland in the past four months has climbed to 179. Medical Director Dr Tony Smith says steps have been put in place to protect patients and staff members. The new head of Fonterra doesn't want to see the consumption rates of milk in New Zealand dropping. That's why Teo Spearings says a priority for him will be to go back to the drawing board and investigate milk prices. Originally from Holland, Mr Spearings has 25 years' experience in the dairy industry around the world and he says the company has a responsibility to make dairy and nutrition available and affordable. Police have decided not to charge the 15-year-old youth who stabbed an intruder during a burglary at his West Auckland home in July. The burglar was in the process of stealing property from the Henderson house when he was apprehended by the teenager and his father. Police say on this occasion the public interest is best served by managing the incident by a referral to the Waitakere Youth Aid section. Overseas, the doctor charged over Michael Jackson's death has wiped away tears on the first day of his trial in Los Angeles. Conrad Murray has pleaded not guilty to involuntary manslaughter. He's accused of giving Jackson a fatal dose of the drug propofol. That's all from me. Thank you very much for watching. Do join us through the evening on Shine TV on the half hour for another roundup of the day's news. Ta kiti anō.